Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to add JavaScript to a site page in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. So if you just add your JavaScript right into your site page, you might have noticed that it gets deleted. So if I go in here and edit source and just paste in some code that I have like this, very simplistic JavaScript code that shows you an input button with the value click me. I want to click that, it says hello world. That's about the easiest JavaScript that you can possibly do. You see it does work, um, but you get this warning. So let's try the other one then. You see there it does, does work, but once I save, the click me button is still there, but it does some, nothing. So that's it does strip out the JavaScript. So if you do as it says, use the embed command, embed code, put that in there, insert, and save. It does the same thing. It strips it out too. So that clearly doesn't work. So if you want to work in that way, then I would recommend not using the snippet either, but instead using the content editor web part, which is in the web part. And there you go into media and content, content editor. And if you load that web part into your page, you probably don't want the big content editor heading there. So I'm going to start by removing that. And then you will go on under appearance here and change the Chrome type to none. And then you apply, of course, always. Now you can click there to add new content, go into edit source, paste your code again. Okay, no warnings, save. And the button works. Hello world. So that's a very simplistic and um, quick way to add some JavaScript to your page. In the next demo, I'm going to show you how to work with an embedded file instead. And that's, of course, much more powerful. Thank you for watching this demonstration.